step one is to have your graphic set up. So if you have any font or text, you want to make sure that you had converted it to outlines, as is shown here. And you do that by taking a normal box of text and going to object, um, or type I should say, and right there create outlines will be highlighted when you have something selected. Um, so now that you have this ready you want to make sure that it's in vector format usually for the VersaCam and you'll just save this into live jobs to use on the other computer for the VersaCam. Next you have to choose your color you of t-shirt that would you like. White or black? Today I am going to be using black. <laughs> small black. Next, we have to choose our color of vinyl. Today, I'm going to be using Fashion Light Gold and Fashion Light White so that it stands out on the black shirt. Next, we're going to have to load up the vinyl into the VersaCam. So we do that by placing this roll to the other two metal rolls. Making sure that the dull side is the side that faces up, as you will see in a few seconds here. <laughs> see that's the dull side, the shiny side, so you want to have the dull side up. Make sure that's about that length away from the blade. Then we adjust to make sure that the wheels are in one of the white blocks on the edges. And once that looks good, lock it in place and give it some slack so that Usually you want to make the slack go to about the floor. And then you press enter and enter again and it will measure the width of the vinyl. When preparing a vinyl for fashion light, you always want to make sure that your pen force is set at zero and that your force is set at 170. So next you want to have live jobs open on the computer connected to the VersaCam and choose your file from the live jobs folder. So just wait for that to open up. And then you want to select everything and make sure that the graphic is reversed, flipped around, so that when you put on the shirt it is the right way. So object, transform, reflect, vertical. But command Y reveals all of the lines that the machine will be cutting. So it's a good thing we did that because you can see here that we have a line that the machine will cut if you don't get rid of it. So it's a good thing we caught that. And here in the text too, Notice that right there will be a problem because the machine will cut through that also. So if we go back, we can use the Pathfinder tool or the Pathfinder window. Make sure that's open. It is. There we go. So now it is one whole object and we do not have that line cutting through the E and the H now. So, go back to Command Y. Nope. And move around a little bit. It's basically just fix all the places where there will be lines overlapping. And we also want to make sure that you have the part of the graphic that you want in the color of the vinyl selected. So for this graphic, I only want it's the cup in gold that we have loaded onto the VersaCam right now. So that is the part we will be selected. 
and up here you can update it and you'll see that is the only part the machine will be cutting. So now we click output and a box will pop up and it will take a little while to load then you select cut and you wait a little while and then it will begin to cut the graphic on there. Once your vinyl has been fully cut out, you want to now weed out the pieces you do not want on the shirt. Now you make sure that the heat press is set to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and wait for it to heat up. And you put your shirt onto the heat press. This paper we want to put on top of the shirt before you actually press it down on the vinyl to protect the other color that is already on the shirt so that it doesn't get ruined by the heat. And this is the final product.